Yeah, I think I've sort of answered a lot of that in, in previous answers in terms of just making good leadership decisions now, um, you know, focusing on the, on the right things, not getting caught in sort of the emotion. Um, obviously there's going to be a lot of criticism, a lot of fan emotion. Uh, we didn't meet expectations in this game and that's, and, I'm, and we deserve every, every bit that comes our way. But it's important now as a team that um, you know, we, we're smart, we make good decisions and we respond well. Um, and training is one aspect. I think we need to, to train well over the next few days and we need to, uh, as I say, make, make smart decisions. It was just disappointing all round. And I said that already. Um, so yeah, I think the keys for us is to to respond now. That's the only way that um, that we can. Well, I mean, as I say, I think I think our game plans and our and our uh, mindsets are good. I think the surface suited his style of bowling. Yeah, he got a lot of different bounce. Um, you know, he got a lot of balls to get really big on batters uh, from good good areas, which made it obviously very tough. But um, you know, we, we, it's not long ago that we can think back to to big big moments in games we've been able to put him under pressure. Um, as I say, he's obviously in form. He's got a lot of confidence at the moment, and um, you know I think uh, we've just got to find a way to make sure that um, he doesn't bowl as well as he did in this. Game. No, I, I, I truly believe, obviously he's bowling well. Um, I truly believe that the wicket played a big role in, in the success that he had. I mean, the stats, even in the Ashes, say that he picked up a lot of lower order wickets. Um, so you know, I think the key is now for us is to make sure as a top order that. You know, we can set some big partnerships and hopefully make, make sure that he keeps coming back and bowling and bowling and bowling and that's going to be the, the keys for us. That he I think we played as good a cricket as we've played over the past uh, few months. Uh, I think our batters deserve a lot of credit being able to make um, the runs they did on, on quite a tough batting wicket and then our execution with the ball in the second innings especially I thought was, was a lot better than the first innings. I think obviously Mitch was, was outstanding once again but I think we're a little bit short um, with the ball in the first innings and then I think we executed very well in the second dig but credit, a lot of credit has to go to our batters um, that was quite a nasty wicket to be honest and I would have hated to see any team have to bat on that on, on day five um, so fortunately a nice toss to lose yeah look I said once we left um, once we when we departed for Australia that the, the greatest challenge this team faces right now is is having success away from home. Um, I think we're quite comfortable playing in our own backyard with our home fans, um, you know, right behind us, and everybody knowing the conditions, knowing the weather, um, knowing the pitches you're playing on. It's extremely hard to have success away from home, and I think all countries have, have experienced it over the past couple of years. But you know, this team especially has has found it tough away from home. So that's why this series is such a, a great challenge for us. Um, and we know you're playing the number one team in the world. The only way you beat them is to beat your best um, all day, every day, throughout three test matches. And we've started well over the first four days, um, but we know we've got a lot of work to do. I think we believe we can get better too. I think our execution, both with bat ball, we, we believe there's areas we can get better. Um, so that's a positive sign for this team. Um, I said to I said to Michael after the first innings that there was definitely room for improvement in that second inning. So. Um, look, you're always trying to improve as a as a player and trying to always get better, and that's what I'm still going to be trying to do throughout the series. So, like Michael said, uh, you know, playing away from home, um, that's where you really can test yourself, and we're up against the number one side. So, I think that's um, good motivation for us. Just keep getting better. So, yeah, you never. I don't think you ever play a perfect game, but um, you know, it was it was it felt pretty good out there today. I don't know what South Africa are feeling right now. Um, I know there's not one cricket lover around the world that doesn't know that Mitchell Johnson's bowling 150 k's and executing his skills as good as, probably not as good as, better than any other bowler in the world at the moment. I think every cricket lover, whether you play the game or you watch the game, you know. They've seen it against England. Um, he showed it again here in different conditions. He's bowling fast. He has, you know, he's the fastest bowler in the world at the moment, there's no doubt about it, but he's executing his skills like any other bowler as well. So, you know, it's an amazing skill to be able to bowl fast, but to be able to hit that, you know, hit that mark as often as Mitchell is, um, that's class, that's world class. Um, you know, again, Mitchell's got the right attitude. He wants to get better, he thinks he can improve. Um, everybody in this team knows we can get better as a team. 
if we got the right attitude like that. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't think it'd be fair for me to sit here and try and um, imagine what South Africa or, or Graham's thinking. Um, they're the number one team in the world. They've been extremely successful over a long period of time. They've got a lot of skill in that change room. I'm sure this next test is going to be even tougher than what we've just faced. So, you know, for us, it's about looking at areas where we can improve, looking at some things we... Uh, we've seen in the South African teams that we can exploit a few weaknesses that we think we might have seen. Um, but they're a great team and they'll come out you know, nice and tough in, in PE and we'll have to beat our best once again.